Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the tinker day with this V70R, I need to go get some insect repellent on before I get eaten up. But anyway, yesterday when I was servicing this AC, the ETM wiring got in the way of the fan and the fan started chewing it up. So I need to tape that up. I put it down there out of the way. Tape that up, zip tied. Then I'm going to clean a couple of cars. So everything is so oily and grimy. I'm going to find some brake parts cleaner and spray that down and then put some tape on it and zip tie the tape. I don't know, I might rewire it later, put another connector on there, but this is the car that's got the jumper, red wire going over to the fuse box, feeding 12 volts to this ETM because they think the green wire is not sufficient for some reason. I wasn't there, I don't know. Let me go ahead and say this, get this out of the way. If you own a car that's more than 15 years old and the cylinder head has not been rebuilt especially these white block engines your vehicle is likely consuming oil most of them they like these p80 volvos 850s sv70s v70rs most of them are blowing the oil past the valve stem seals i say that to say this man you got to check and keep your oil topped off weekly if you don't, you're going to be running low on oil. I don't know why this car yesterday was three and a half quarts low. I tell them all the time, check your oil. Didn't think it was low. It's low. Three and a half quarts, that's a lot. You got two quarts left. Two quarts, enough to lubricate it, not to lubricate it well. So take my advice. If you got a P80 Volvo, especially, that has not had the cylinder head rebuilt with Volvo valve stem seals, keep your oil topped off or you'll be replacing the engine in short time. I promise you, top off oil is cheaper than an engine replacement or a car replacement. It's just my take on it. Ah, it's not too bad. Chewed on the yellow wire, the thick yellow wire, and that brown wire a little. Glad it didn't chew through anything. I caught it in time. So I'm put a little tape on those, tuck these wires, and move on with my day. He wants to get this door replaced. Somebody was trying to break into the car, hitting the door with boulders, busted up, knocked a dent in the door. Door wasn't installed quite right. They got it hung up on this trim. So probably cheaper to replace the door than fix these dent scratches and trim work I don't know I could be wrong but it does look a mess and there's a clean door down at two stacks so I think we're gonna go that route guess where I'm at you got it two stack jacks there's a buzzard circling overhead hopefully nobody got crushed by one of these cars Byron wants a door from this car here so I'm gonna take that back door off real quick and somebody wanted me to tell them how these seats were this car is still set out here I found some locking lug nuts I took off of it and here are the seats oh crap oh I got it open that I couldn't get the door open the seats man they feel pretty good little leather conditioner they'd be perfect oh that one over there has got a look like a burning tear in it so that one's over there is worn out. So it's just this passenger one that's good. Now, Swedish car parts sell the sea skins for these, so that might be a better option. I think the new owner has decided not to double stack these. Man, this has a nice light on it. They have black trim around these lights. 
Look like two good lights though. Like those wheels, nice wheels, center pieces. I don't know why this car is down here. Usually transmission or blown head. Oh, it's got a window knocked out. Oh, somebody tore up the dome light area. Seats coming apart. It's got a key in it. I don't know if that's good or bad. What's this thing here? Uh, wine opener. Uh, Diane might like that. I don't know. She don't open wine bottles. It's got a weird looking thing. See if they charge me for that. <clears throat> Throw that in my bag. Do, 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 do. Get this door and get out of here. There's a fog light under there that my buddy Lonnie needs. I had to dig that car out of there to get it. I might do that my next trip. I've been waiting for a piece of mail out of here for a while. Oh man, there's a nice fog light. Guess I might as well take that. It looks like it's nice. It don't look busted. I don't know if it... Oh, the adjuster's busted. I don't know if that is off a C70 or a 850. Looks like a C70. See if we got anything good back here. Ugh! It's got a nice jack. One of them toe ring snatchers. Somebody had a blind look like hookup thing back here somehow. I don't know how that worked. But these jacks are good. Good Volvo jack. What is that? Stop fires fast. Like a fire extinguisher. I might take that. See if they charge me for that. Some Rain X maybe bug cleaner. Doo -doo -doo. Let me get this jack out of here and go get this door. Ooh, not sure how I managed to do this, but I forgot that I need the T40 to get the check strap loose. So I got to walk back down to the car, see if I can find that in the car. If not, I got to go buy one. I got two of them, maybe three. Can't find one. Last couple days. I found my. T40 Allen, which is good. And I must say, yesterday the cicada population seemed like it cut down about 20%. Today, it seems like it's down 50 or 70%. Probably not even going to see any more of those things in the next three, four days. Anyway, let me go pull this door. So I can get out of here. Hooray! My cruise control works again. It takes a while to engage, like 10 seconds, but it engages and it works. So I guess it was that stuff at my pedal. I am back in business, folks. And I think my driver's license came in. Probably my fake one. I don't know why they didn't cancel or make me wait till I got my fake one in before they issued me a real one. But we'll see if I get a real one in a couple of days. Took that all black wheel off and hit red bam with the 850R wheel with that gray on the bottom. I got one more of those. Red Baron closer to Pentium. There's a steering wheel coming out of this white 850R we just did those trailing arm links on. If you have an 850 and the horn doesn't work, send me a message. We could take this stuff apart send it to you so you can get your horn working and we're going to put this nice leather black wheel that came out of red baron in the uh, white 850r there because this is just it's just tired man when you got all that going on it's time to give it up what's happening party people what i have here for sale is a 850r steering wheel came out of a 96 or a 97 I don't know which one the good thing is the horn works if you have a steering wheel that the horn doesn't work and you would like it to work I can pull the guts out of this send this to you 
send me whatever you want. It don't matter to me. Uh, we're not trying to make any profit off this steering wheel. We just, hey, if you had a horn that's busted and you want to fix it, this has good guts in it for a horn to work. Now, if you want a steering wheel from an 850R, I don't know, maybe you can get this leather cut off down to here or something or cut it off here. But you know, this is tacky with the leather coming off. That's why it was replaced. Now, last time I shipped an entire steering wheel, it was 50 bucks. This steering wheel may not be worth 50 bucks to you. But that's up to you. If you want the whole steering wheel, let me know. If you only want the guts out of it so that you can get your horn to work, I'll film taking the guts out, send the guts to you, whatever you want to give to cover shipping, whatever is fine. So that's that. What's happening, everybody? I'm here to tell you that Diane received her compliant ID in the mail today, and I received my fake non-compliant ID in the mail today driver's license that is we was at the BMV on June 9th and today is June 17th now Diane's ID has this little star in it next to the shape of the state of Ohio that's I believe uh, letting her know two things one that she's maybe a veteran and two that she has a compliant ID. I don't see nowhere on there where it says uh, compliant ID, but it does uh, not have what mine has on it. My ID has the words not for federal ID. I consider this a fake ID. You see up there near the Ohio symbol, it says not for federal ID. So, it may be a veteran identified ID. I really can't tell, but my driver's license number, I believe, I got some numbers here. I got VH on the front of my number right under the word driver's license. So, Diane also has VH under hers in some numbers. So, anyway, we got our IDs in 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's eight days. So it took eight days for our IDs to come in the mail. Just to let you know, little update. Hey, look at here. I checked the mailbox at the house. It looks like we got a license plate for Panther, Bureau of Motor Vehicles. And there it is, folks. Brand new United States Air Force. I'll put this county sticker on there. Find the registration sticker, stick it on there, and then get this installed on Panther today. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.